most religions state that God created humans in his image. In this verse 5, chapter 7, Krishna says something similar to it. But in my opinion, slightly more scientific. I'll explain that. If we just take the statement literally, then there would arise a lot of logical issues. You'll start questioning that, of course, you can argue about it. Uh, in length. But if we look at it more carefully from the philosophical point of view, then it might make sense. So, God created human in his image is a very thoughtful way of stating it or what Krishna says in this verse. Krishna says, Arjuna, you are only seeing me in this material form, made out of the five elements, I am adding that. But if you look carefully, you will see the real who I am. Okay, that statement is not included when we just say God created humans in his image. But you have to read in between the words. So, if we start asking the question, which human? We know scientifically that about, let's say 30,000 years ago, there were humans who were not very savvy with tools or anything like that. They used tools, but not like us. Compared to today's human, even 400 years ago, before the Industrial Revolution, the humans looked a little less. I can do so many things now. I have much better capacity, even without any gadgets, than someone who lived 300 years ago. If we go back in time, thousand years ago, and tell someone that humans can actually run 100 meters in nine seconds, or less than nine seconds, they wouldn't believe it. What happened in those years? We evolved. So, if God created humans in his image, at what time point are we referring to? It couldn't be 100,000 years ago or a million th year, years ago. He did create in his image. His probably is not uh, necessarily true. His aha uh -huh, or her image. But the time frame has not yet come. If we keep evolving, To do that, 
the eight elements that were spoken about in the last verse we have to consider the last three mind intellect and ego use them efficiently and evolve using the rest of the five elements both material form both in the material form as well as intellectually one day we will figure out yes i am made in the image of god in other words the point is to keep evolving keep making ourselves better as a society as a community as a race human race is the way i understand it